see me walking down the streets And I start to cry each time we meet Walk on by I walk on by And make believe that I can't see the tears Then let me breathe I'm private Cause each time I see you I just want to cry United side today. They come here chosen by backroom man Morris Lindley. This then is the new man in the lead side, striker John Hawley. And last season for Hawley, he was on the target only five times. Parry sending Eddie Gray on his way. Hawley and Arthur Graham are up. And Curry made a beautiful overlap. Oh, and what a beautiful goal by Tony Curry. And Tony Curry, who's hit one or two spectacular goals towards the end of last season for England has now pulled that beautiful one out of the bag for Leeds United. Not a bad ball by O'Leary, straight to Eddie Gray, pass Willie Young, Hall is waiting in the middle, a chance for Hawley to make it number two, and he very nearly did, and really he should have done. Flynn. They are pushing themselves forward well, Leeds United here, and are this one goal in the lead. Scored by Curry, the man on the ball at the moment. Beautiful chip there by Curry. What a delightful piece of play for Frank Gray. Well, I thought that was going to come for Graham. Well, there's the star of the show so far. Tony Curry. Brady chipping this one in, and Stapleton going a long way. And Arsenal with a chance to get back to 1 1, which is what they are. Certainly, Brian Flynn is ever moving. I think they probably have to design a special uh, small shirt for him. He's only 5 foot 2, it's really almost a boy's size. Paul Hart. Oh, he's got caught in possession there. Here are Arsenal marauding away again with McDonald and Brady linking up well. Stapleton's up there. McDonald's looking for it too. Oh, what a goal! Here he is again, Tony Curry. That little bit of acceleration. The cross coming in low. Cherry with a shot. Oh, yes! acceleration a deceptively low cross Trevor Cherry with more time than he had a right to expect oh, Brady's a man on a hat-trick this would be the moment to get it oh. and a final whistle and a really excellent way to start a new football season I think he's the greatest. Um, he is one of the finest manager in the whole of the British Isles, in, in my view.
a clash of colours for those of you watching in black and white, I'm afraid. Spurs, though, are in the slightly darker strip with the black flashes on the front of their shirts, but wouldn't have been so much easier if one of them had worn dark shorts. A real test for Leeds in the middle of the field is, of course, how to cope without the creative talents of Tony Curry. And taken by Peter Taylor. Now a chance for Spurs to open it up. And beautifully taken. So a worrying first half for Jockstein. Harris for Hankin. Now Graham. Goal! Arthur Graham for Leeds. Harris, the originator. Too high for Hankin, but beautifully met on the volley by Arthur Graham. On for Perryman. Turning inside Frank Gray. Back for Ardiles. And a goal surely for Colin Lee. Leeds under new manager Jock Steen have had a steady start, but they've lost their last two games. The players all wearing special armbands, which they will now dispose of among the supporters with a message of peaceful coexistence on each one. If you're watching in black and white, Leeds have the darker shorts. This is Frank Gray coming away and a good run through by Carl Harris, who's onside. Oh! And the linesman flags, the referee has stopped the game, he's given the free kick. It's Arthur Graham for Leeds, good stop. Good build-up by Leeds, Graham. said, how about you saying that I might be interested in the Scottish job? I said, all right. Down the phone, phone London. I said, Jockstein thinks, oh, pfft, he's interested in the Scottish job. Following morning, I turn on the radio and I hear the introduction of the sports news and the introduction says, well, we've got Jockstein on the other end of the line. Um, Mr. Steen, morning to you. Morning. Um, you, you're going to take the Scottish job I've offered? Ah, oh, Archie McPherson just says these things, you know, just to catch the attention of people. You know, it's what... And he went on and rambled on. How can you ever let me down? How can you ever let me down? How can you ever let me down? These promises... Can I ask you? What, what, how would you feel if Jock Steen was to leave Leeds United? Disappointed. You wanted him to stay. Good manager. I think Leeds won't do now if, they, if Jock Steen goes. He's a beautiful manager. Proved it with Celtic. What would you feel if he was to leave the club? Uh, tragic, really, before he's had time to show what he can do. How highly do you rate him as a manager? I think he's one of the best in country. I think he's about best in country. Tonight's sporting headlines. Jock Steen bids farewell to Leeds United after just 45 days at Ellen Road and becomes Scotland's new manager. Well, my wife just wouldn't, uh, she didn't, didn't fancy moving and uh, 
it's as simple and straightforward as that. Although, some people might suggest that it is, it will seem a somewhat cynical decision though, only 40 odd days after you arrived here, to be disappearing again. There's nothing in it other than that. Well, we shall have a terrible job to find anyone as good as Mr. Steen. I'll find someone. The, the, uh, <laughs> as I've said many times, he's the best man in the business, and uh, it's been it's heartbreaking to me to uh, have to say cheerio to him in this way. Those promises. Curry milks the applause that is so deserved.